Okay, last thing I want to bring up. We didn't talk about it, but a big thing happened in the NFL this week. The Dallas Cowboys keep waiting for other contracts to be given to top-tier players because that's going to give them a better idea of what they need to pay their top-tier players. So I'm, I'm paraphrasing Jerry Jones' words. While they're looking down the barrel of giving CeeDee Lamb a big contract, the Minnesota Vikings go out this week and give Justin Jefferson uh, an extended deal worth $8.3 billion. Clarence, I have given up on the Cowboys ever taking the lead on this to try to get it done early to avoid those big numbers. And the only reason I think of is why is be- they don't do it is because they don't have to, and there are really no consequences to it. When in fact there are, will they ever <coughs> change this, this very slow-mo approach to giving their guys big extensions before the other guy gets theirs and resets the market? Well, I, I would say this, and, and, and listen, I, I've been critical of the Cowboys, how they handle Dak, Dak's contract. And, you know, you want to get ahead of the, 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 the curve and certainly get ahead of the market. But it takes two to tango. And I know for certain CD wasn't signing until Jefferson signed. So, so that's his agent just waiting? Yeah, because they, they knew, you know, as much as the Cowboys wanted would would have liked to uh, – if they would have liked to do that, they couldn't have do that because the CD was waiting. They were waiting for was that Justin waiting on CD. Well, Justin was they had Justin got offered last year, you know, and oh, the Cowboys right. down this he, yeah, he got offered right. last year and turned down contract last year that would have made him high. And I think he was getting he got turned down a contract for 30 last year, so he got a 35. So, you know, it's like Micah. Micah said, I'm I'm not, you know, the beautiful thing about Micah is he's in line for a contract too, okay? And he say, I have, I have no problem waiting because as long as I wait, the money's going up and up and up. So get signed Dak, sign CD, sign, let, let, let another defensive player sign. Whenever he signs, he's going to be the highest non-quarterback in NFL history. We know that. CD is he was waiting on Jefferson, just like Jamar Chase is waiting on CD and Jefferson to sign. That's that's the game. And there's really nothing the Cowboys could do about it at this point. And, you know, my issue, again, they should have got Dak done. Because when they signed Dak four years ago to a four-year contract for 160 with a $59 million cap hit in the fourth year, it was done with the intent to address it before that $59 million cap hit hit, okay, before you got to the fourth year. it was That was the intent because you were never going to let him play on that $59 million cap hit. So you were going to address the contract, and now we're here, and they did not do it. And so everything else, the dominoes are falling right behind you. Talking about, I don't have cash space to do this. I don't. Have, you should you say do what you said you were going to do. Do what your intent was going to do. You if Dak played up to the standards you thought he was going to play, lived up to that contract, he's had a regardless of the playoff success, he was had his best year last year. Let the NFL and touchdown passes. Been a second NFL MVP balloting for the first time. Uh, probably the Cowboys finished that eye since Emmitt Smith won it in 1995. You know, if you go right. back and just look at it, um, get it done. And they haven't gotten it done. And now you got Dak and you got CD going into this, you know, going to training camp with this hanging over the head. And Michael sitting down there waiting with his hands up. <laughs> <So his money laughs> okay. Is 